ones. Don't fly away. Don't be like that. There's another one that might participate just over there. Unlike the ones, the doves and things that keep flying away. Very busy. Also, very puffed up, just like the Impala this morning. And I don't really blame them. It is, it is particularly cold. Yeah. Bird chattering, or oh, lots of birds chattering in the distance. Oh, let me keep this volume up just a little bit. Sounds like there's a raptor of some sort sitting somewhere. I can hear a very high pitch. And the raptors typically have that high pitch call. I wonder if it's not that African hawk eagle because it actually flew in this direction. So maybe it's just sitting somewhere. Oh, that was an interesting call. Let me have a look at this bird up here, Craig. It's on a tree. I don't know what it is. It's a dove of some sort. Maybe it's an African green pigeon. But it was just an interesting noise. It'll just, hey, yeah, I'm just on that low branch. To the left, there we go. You just see this uh, down and to the left. It's just there. There we go in the fork. Who have we got? Turtle dove. You were making a strange noise just now. I actually didn't recognise that call that you made. You hear that? Very, very interesting noise. Even its movement is quite erratic. I wonder if it hasn't seen something down on the floor, and that's why it's perhaps panicking a little bit. It, do it doesn't seem to be very relaxed. Oh, there we go. Now it's settled down. Have a little listen to this. Sounds like a turtle dove with a bit of a sore throat. Or perhaps it's still learning. I suppose it does take a bit of time for these birds to learn their songs, just like you and I when you first learn to whistle. It doesn't come out perfectly, it does take a bit of practice. Hmm. Interesting behavior from that turtle dove, though. It looks very.